Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another retro book review. Today we are talking about Dean Koontz's The Fun House. Uh, this, in case you do not know the history of this book, uh, is based on a script by Larry Block. So it is a novelization of the Tobe, Toby? Is it Toby? I think it's Toby Hooper's uh, movie The Fun House. Uh, odd thing about this is the movie was delayed so long that the novelization came out before the movie did. And Dean Koontz published it under his horror pseudonym, uh, Owen West. I loved this book when I was a, when I was a kid. Um, this version came out in... Dum, 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 19... June 1994. So I was 14. I remember buying it off uh, the rack at Lucky's Grocery Store in uh, Fontana, California. Either that it was, or it was San Bernardino. I can't remember which one. I don't even think Lucky's is around anymore. Any California folks want to let me know if Lucky's is still around? I remember Stater Brothers and Lucky's and a couple other places. But, uh, anywho. And they had these uh, wire racks. Instead of end caps, I remember they had these wire racks like in, uh, not grocery store, uh, like ga gas stations. And I remember seeing and going, ooh, Dean Koontz, and buying it off the rack with some of my fun money. Um, but uh, my mom wouldn't let me read this stuff. Uh, this is still around the time of the Great Book Closet. Uh, fan in the channel, you might have heard me reference that before. She used to keep all of her adult horror novels in a closet. And she had a walk-in closet, and they were all stacked up. Um, they, there was no bookshelves. She kept the bookshelves out in the living room. Um, she kept them all stacked up. Uh, there in the closet, and I wasn't allowed to go in there to get the books. Those were her adult books. My mom being, uh, oddly enough, my mom being a devout Christian, it was fine for her to read it, but, you know, it, it would, I guess, darken me, ruin me as a child. Uh, she, she finally let me start grabbing books out of there when I was about 16, I think. I mean, even then, she, she had to read them first. But with this book, I, like I said, I loved it. Um, 14-year-old me... He was hot for this book. It's a great book, great experience. Uh, it's books like this that made me go check out um, some of my favorites, like Twilight Eyes uh, and Phantoms. I tried to read this last year or the year before at some point in time, and I couldn't finish it. I was trying to read it with my friend Dully. Um, I've been pronouncing her name wrong the entire time. I thought it was Delete. It's D-E-L-E-E, -E, but she says it's like Delete, Delete, without the T. So I'm saying Dully. I hope that's correct. Um, <laughs> Dully, if that is not correct, you will let me know, I'm sure, in an email. Um, I, sorry, I've been pronouncing it wrong this entire time. But, uh, so, we tried to read it, and I couldn't get through it. Uh, it was so bad, the, the plot holes, the writing, it was just utterly atrocious. Now, I have went back and watched the Toby Hooper movie again, and I love that. Um, so I'm not exactly sure why I dislike the book so much. Um, maybe there's uh, some differences in the, the storyline as far as the internal dialogue and the reasoning for certain characters that you don't get in the movie. I couldn't finish the book and I don't remember enough about it uh, that, about the first time I read it other than I loved it. But 14 year old me probably loved it because it was very brutal, very gory. Um, I believe there's a scene uh, where a head rolls, <laughs> rolls up to our protagonist. Uh, on a uh, a roller coaster ride or something like that. Um, I also rem uh, uh, well the movie, the uh, special effects for the movie are terrible, but it's in a fun way. Um, the monster's uh, head face def deformation uh, of his uh, cranium <laughs> is is cheesy as hell, but I enjoyed it uh, in in a vi in a visual aspect it, it, it was fine it was great uh, as a film in a, as a film it was fine because with a film it only took up an hour and a half of my life whereas the book is 340 yeah 300 and yeah I might as well say 340 it's 330 something odd pages long I mean that if if I read it if I buddy read it we're only going about 50 60 pages a day so that's you know a week of my life I'm not gonna get back <laughs> so I just, I just ended up quitting it uh, if it was, if we had started reading it, you know, pro probably later on when I was bound, set, and determined to reread all of his stuff, I would have forced myself to finish it, like I did with the House of Thunder. Because um, if any book needed to be quit, that one was. Um, but this one, I would recommend it to people who like 
uh, cheesy horror novels. I wouldn't pay too much attention to the actual, you know, plot or the the, the motivations of the characters. Because uh, if you do, you're probably going to have a bad time. Uh, just like all of Stephen, not Stephen King's, oh, Freudian slip. <laughs> just like all of Dean Koontz's stuff, his characters are forgettable. Um, the, the plots are forgettable. In fact, it, there's no end to the comments on my Dean Koontz uh, reviews that say, hey, I just, that was one I just got for uh, the House of Thunder where the person said, I just, I, I read this not too long ago, gave it four stars, but I can't remember anything about the book. That's Dean Koontz in a nutshell. You know, there's no nothing really memorable around, about his stuff. Um, but if you're just looking for dumb fun, um, I would say this is the closest thing to a Richard Lehman experience you're going to get from Dean Koontz. Um, it's, it really reminded me of that. Uh, uh, Richard Lehman's stuff was a little bit better than my experience with this. Uh, so, and, But it's far below like the likes of, like uh, uh, if you're talking about other paper, paperback horror authors, far below the likes of like Bentley Little and Jack Ketch and that kind of thing. You're well below that. Um, in fact, I would probably put it more on the line of, uh, I, I don't even know, I would say it, it's closer to like the indie horror you're getting nowadays without all the errors. So um, if you're into that kind of thing, definitely jump on this um, because it is, it, it's fun if you can turn your brain off. Unfortunately, the older I get, the harder it is for me to turn my brain off. Um, I've worked with some fantastic editors and writers um, in my day, and I just can't do it anymore. Um, that's unfortunate because I enjoyed these books when I was younger, but nowadays all I can see are the problems with the story and the, the writing. So um, if you don't mind that, those, if you don't mind that aspect being on the poor, to bad side, then definitely check it out. But for me, I mean, I'm, I'm going to give it one star. I couldn't even finish it, so it's an easy one star for me. But if you read The Fun House, what did you think about it? Let me know down there in the comments below, or in the doobly-doo. I know some of y'all are like, what are these comments you were talking I know the <laughs> down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!